how wastewater comes into the wastewater treatment plant facility. And this is how it leaves. This is one of those projects that allows us to be the community that we are. We have over 200 miles of sewer collection system already in place, and this is the end destination for all of that wastewater. We recognize that $57.1 million is an awful lot of money to invest in our community. Uh, we think that there are a lot of real positive reasons to do that. Uh, we're replacing an obsolete facility. Uh, we're taking advantage of current technology. Uh, and we're going to become much more efficient and effective in the future. Uh, however, if that's not enough, uh, the regulatory agencies have created some disincentives if we fail to act in a timely manner. Uh, first of all, there are $17.1 million worth of grants that we would lose eligibility for. Uh, we could potentially lose the Clean Water Fund uh, loan, which is at 2%, significantly less than we could bond it. Uh, and then lastly, there are penalties by, imposed by both the EPA uh, and the Department of Environmental Protection of the state uh, that could amount to as much as $37,500 a day, uh, which equates to about $13.6 million a year. Uh, those coupled with the positives make this a compelling argument uh, for us to support a new wastewater treatment plant. In the late 50s, cars like this were being built across the U.S. They didn't get the mileage of today's cars and didn't have computers to help them run efficiently. Most cars like this are no longer around. And that's similar to what happened here, that there's older parts in this facility, both electrical and steel and concrete, that need to be upgraded for the years ahead. As you would imagine, technology has increased substantially, uh, as have the requirements from uh, the Department of Environmental Protection. Uh, those two things have combined uh, into requiring us to do a complete overhaul of our existing facility. Uh, we're going to salvage what we can, uh, but the lion's share of what we're going to be doing is replacing the inner workings as well as all of the technology associated with uh, treating uh, the sewage for, on behalf of the citizens of Southington. One of the main drivers that's going to be going on here is going to be the phosphorus removal. There is going to be a major upgrade in the respect of a phosphorus treatment system to make sure that we can maintain those levels as seen necessary by the state and the EPA. We've got millions of gallons of flow that never stops. So if something happens and breaks down, you've got to deal with it and, and not have leaks. It's very important that you treat the water, every bit of it that comes through. Right now we're running the plan on half capacity. We have redundancy. So if something happens, we can swap the water into the other side of the treatment train. But we need to have reliable equipment because we're going to lose that redundancy as the flow increases as Southington grows. The capacity is fair for, for what we have right now, but we have obviously a lot of opportunities for growth and you know, we need to be sure we have that sewer sort of capacity because it's a critical component along with water capacity and things of that nature, for, especially for business development. There has not been a, a major upgrade other than for denitrification, which was a uh, DEP mandate. As you can imagine, when you're pumping millions of gallons of sewage through the plant from one tank into the other, 
you use an awful lot of electricity to drive the motors. So by installing the equipment that can save us down the road on a day-to-day -day basis, those savings are going to be going on for the next 20, 30 years. You can see that where the, our facility happens to sit, it's surrounded by neighbors in sports fields. As part of the upgrade, we are going to cover the both primary clarifiers and treat the foul air through an activated carbon odor control unit. This is the headworks area. It could become odorous. So under the plant upgrade, we are planning to cover the aerated grit area, which is basically an open tank right now, and put an uh, odor control system at the headworks. It's very, very important for us to try and make sure that as we move forward, and continue to meet the upgrades and the parameters in which the state of Connecticut and the Environmental Protection Agency sets for us that we keep in mind that we have to do the best we can by the citizens of Southington to make sure that we keep down these odors. As you've heard, this is an extraordinary project and it really is for the benefit of the entire community. Uh, this is an important uh, opportunity for citizens to weigh in directly uh, on their own behalf. Uh, this referendum that you will see in November uh, is a make or break for the future of our community and we're hoping uh, that with this better understanding you will all take the time and support it. Please vote.